Hi, I'm Ryan. I am a big city walker and also a model. In today's video, we're going to talk about symbolism. Symbolism from Urban Dictionary is the philosophy of living life without owning more than one's needs, regardless of the financial value of their current belongings. On Douban, one of the biggest four in China, there are 330,000 people in simple living group. So, is a symbolism lifestyle make you happy? Yes, it does. According to Professor Grishan, who studied hoarding for 16 years, the hoarder will experience many complications, such as obesity and depression, chronic fatigue and anxiety. From the Life at Home report by IKEA, Having too many things is the main cause of stress at home. A study published in 2010 in journal Psychiatry Research confirmed a strong link between clutter and depression. So, if we're not happy, why do we do it? One of the reasons is materialism. We believe materials bring happiness. Unfortunately, it doesn't. After we feed, feed our need for food and shelter, our spiritual demand is the real source of happiness. How do we cope with hoarding? First step, let go of the past and embrace the present. Tidying our room is a journey for our spirit. It's never just a physical movement. The past we want to hold on and the present we avoid. That's the reason we are obsessed with old things that we don't need anymore. The items don't bring happiness. Second step, touch the belongings and feel your heart flipped. In the popular book, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Marine Kendo, she said, keep the items that make your heart flipped and throw away the things that don't. Tidying up isn't the purpose. The purpose is the life after tidying up. It's the things that stay at our house. Because many people on the internet are aganished dashari. I'll end this video with these words. Too much water drowned the miller by Master Liu's Spring and Autumn Annals. I'm Ryan, see you soon.